All right, here's the motor, guys. Can you tell what it is? Okay, good. We didn't want you to know what it was. So we're gonna bring that over there and take that blanket off of it, and then start working on how we're gonna mount it into this car right here without you guys seeing the motor again. Whoa. But, um, all right, so we'll be working on that and then we'll cover it back up when it's in the car and show you a covered up motor that we made mounts for, trans and motor, hopefully by the end of the day. It's gonna be a tight one. BMW has horrible, humongous U-joints on their steering column, so that means we get to rebuild that whole thing, do some snake work with it, and then Hopefully we can find an aftermarket header that we only have to modify two of the runners. Maybe though we have to make a whole header on that side and hopefully we don't have to do too much work with a header on the passenger side. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> There's a huge mess over here. We went to like Bavaria and it's just piles of Bavarian motor works parts everywhere. Because we're reinforcing the subframe. Ooh, what's under that window there? This is cut and oh. the welding everywhere here. This piece, this piece. <laughs> I know, but I was just trying to be funny, but you're very literal. Yeah. It's very Czech Republic. Yeah. Okay, we had to take the tank out to get to the other spot where we weld on it. So when you reinforce the subframe on a BMW, first, if you can see these spot welds right there, those are what break on the like here and on the underside and then the whole subframe just falls out. So you weld the plate in here, you also are down below welding a plate in there, here, and then there's two more up front that you can't, I'll walk around and show you. But there's four spots, top and bottom, that you gotta weld. It's quite the process. But it's something we've done before. Yeah, it's on the it's everywhere. It's on the like yeah. uphill bank yeah, yeah, yeah. of like the back of like where the back seat would have been, or maybe like where your lower back would be when you're sitting in the seat um, in the back. Then we're taking out the inside stuff, pretty much everything we can, so we can convert this to like a show SEMA street, just like modern day hot rod basically. And then we're putting that motor in there can you guys tell what it is yeah me too looks like a moving blanket so then that'll go in there we already removed brake booster and all this cleanly removing all the spot welds that one guy in there did that maybe, maybe you can see him if you look close yeah he's in there that one guy connor so yeah connor did that stuff he's still gonna do this over here but just lots of lots of stuff to do. So that's a quick update on that one. And then I have a gift for you. Oh, a gift? Yeah. Nice. Oh, hairbrush. <laughs> oh, I wonder where this brush has been. Should I just stick it in the mullet? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, we'll donate that to that pile. So that's the update. Can't tell you what this motor is. You guys could almost guess, but but don't do that. We'll surprise you. And then Renee is working on front bumper decals. We just have it on. Then we kind of went around and did like touching up where we can with like scrubbing off like tire residue. This will not come off. Nothing we can do about it. But we got. And then we're gonna clean the car. But we got the headlights lining up better got the tail lights lining up better we still got to make a rear bash bar we got to represent super street not like that but like that because super street is super street so of course you want a fresh sticker and i have a tendency to just graze their stickers ever so slightly sometimes or ever so roughly other times but we still love super street they still like me so put that sticker on there Okay, um, that's that car, but what you've all been really wanting to see is the other Supra that Joe's working on. Supra! Starting to 
look like? Well, no, it still doesn't really look like much. Ah, <sighs> that was horrible. Uh, yeah. Kind of copied the way we did mine because we liked how it turned out so much. And that'll still allow us to do those plates from Bink Industries that we got last time. Removable bash bar. Those little arms that are gonna hold the back um, plug fiberglass thing from Hartman Fiberglass. Don't have that yet, we'll get it soon. But, coming along. It's a race car now. All right, so at the end of the day, we got front bumper pretty much ready. Minus about four or five sponsors on this side. Yeah, I think we have five more put on the front bumper and then a little bit of vinyl that Renee's gonna make that goes somewhere right here and then we just nut and bolt check the motor cleaned up the side skirt so now it's not it was like kind of recessing in there but I made a little plate under there and then we got a vacuum out the inside and Joe's making a backup ash bar right now whoa That is mostly it, then we gotta drive it really quick. And then, put it back on the lift, nut and bolt underneath it, and then we're good to go. So, just feeling like everything's ready to go pretty much, but a little bit left. What's up guys? Oh, got a haircut. What do you think? What, yeah? Ready for Washington? Okay, checking on the car a little bit right now. Okay, anyways, right now, I'm gonna go grab that other red Supra from JV Auto Body. So it seems like all day I'm just driving around with a truck and trailer. But, gotta keep the shop going, gotta get the work, create the work, everything. So, gonna go get that Supra, let's check out how good it turned out. And then, um, we'll head back here. And then, the end of today, Rory's gonna stop by and he hasn't seen his car since we cut the back off. And then did all the structure around the fuel cell rear radiator ducting and a couple other things in the front so it's gonna be cool we'll show him as soon as he gets here and you guys will get to see his first reaction as he sees it for the first time you guys will be watching too all right let's go get that other supra supra oh, oh, oh. that paint looks so much better huh sparkly deep red if you like red, do that. So, that's Juan's new setup. I think he's gonna like it. Came out good. Alright, me and JP are gonna load that guy up. And then, back to the shop. Let's see if JP gets camera shy again. JP! Are you being camera shy again? Mm -hmm. No, not today? No, not today. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, we have to re-thread these, huh? You gotta push them down. It has one nut on them already. Oh. Uh, this looks cool. I like this color. I like it. I don't like red, actually, but this is like so deep, like you're looking way into it. I like it. Good job. He is here. Come on, Rory. Look, I brought you a pair. Oh, they have, uh, thank you. I know you said only I like nine, pear, but yeah. they have mixed. So. Oh, there's mixed? Costco. Whoa. Here he is. Freaking good. Wait, light. 
I get excited for Perrier. Thank you, Rory. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> One case. Okay, hey, let's see the Supra. We want to see what you, what you think. Okay, let's just watch Rory's face. This is, he might get excited. He might be expressionless. We don't know yet. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Damn. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. You guys haven't seen this yet either. That hatch is not what's gonna go on his car. We're using this mock up. Oh, yeah. Look at this back here though. So, hey, wow. this is all in and not zerted, but then we pulled out the zerts and everything because we, we just set this here for you right now. But we. <laughs> We don't want it in there when we're working because like stuff happens, it's crazy dirty. But that's been mounted and done. This is cut off. We have a video we're gonna do soon. You guys have already seen it because this is after that video. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but look at that rear firewall. It's like we changed the idea and then Joe knocked that out all crazy and symmetrical. We like wanted it to be like next level from the one in my car, so that's the next level. Because it's like one and the same as the rear ducting and now it's less metal, less stuff you have to worry about. This isn't done yet. This will be shaped to like, just trust us. That'll come out how we need it to. Yeah. But then hot air goes in, through, and then boom, dumped away. And inside here will be like the gold tape like was in mine. Mm -hmm. But look, so. Nothing interferes with anything now. And then back here is just crunch zone. Mm. But the hot air still misses the, um, all the fuel components completely. Nice. And your, your water pump, if you want, we could take this off to show you right now. No, okay, well your water pump is underneath there. Beautiful. So then this side, unfortunately, we have to cut some. Yeah. This has to get cut a little bit for mm -hmm. like hoses to go in and out, but you're gonna run There's going to be a lot of hoses and then you'll have like your expansion tank and your other stuff on, over here. And then we're going to do hard lines. They, like We're going to try and terminate the hard lines somewhere here. We have to design some stuff, but terminate hard lines that ran through the inside of your car to like the soft like ANs will only be right here, hopefully. Yeah. And then you'll have like tucked hard line that's so. like, we want to run it right here and then box it off like hidden away so it's like FD legal perfect. Yeah. It's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have it on the lips, so you didn't do your pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We will. We can. Yeah. I want to do some too. Um, we fully like uh, Connor got all the crap from underneath oh, there out. Yeah. Like yeah, that so. Yes. Yeah, so then we can spray it with spray paint, and then when you go drifting, and it, I don't know, you just kind of wipe it out or yeah. hose it out, yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah. But we're just getting it like this. We haven't cleaned yet we'll clean this up and finalize stuff but nice. yeah nice. craziness but we did like so much stuff and like clean perfect I don't know this is like we just stare at it and are like in amazement yeah. still that turned out nice. it's crazy we're really happy with this whole thing yeah we're all jealous of this setup Beautiful. it's amazing we're like we sometimes just sit and stare at it to like get what, and then he'll say something, and I'll say something, and then we're like mixing ideas, and then don't do anything, and the next day do the same thing. And they're like, okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, he's <Yeah>. happy. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you, Nate said, if you guys remember those commercials, Toyota commercials. Oh, from oh, like. I do. That was a long time ago. Well, I I still saw it. I'm old, but I barely would have remembered that if you hadn't mentioned it. All right, guys, we're gonna hang out with Rory. See you later. High five. High five. <laughs> it's so early. We're here at like six o'clock, and we left last night at like late. Oh, hey, then. Oh, hey. <laughs> Pretty late, so we're tired, but we got to do this right now. So, got this all set up. You guys have seen this happen before. 
But that's what we're gonna do for a couple hours now. Then do some customer car stuff a couple hours later. This guy will be ready to go for traveling in the trailer. All right, me and Beach are gonna get started. We'll probably update you in a little bit. All right, guys. This is the tried and true right here. Real Street Billet Mains. CP Carrillo, at least H-beams that you need. These are XD H-beam, but you need the H-beam for sure. And then you need a Brian Crower 3.4 stroker crank. If you're scared of the stroker crank, he also has a lightweight stock stroke crank, which would be boom, ideal because of less rotating mass. This is a lightweight stroker. I prefer this, not everyone does. Um, this is just another one coming together, but each time they get a little better. Super fun to work on these. This is one of the funnest parts of yeah. racing is building the motor. And some of the parts we don't build, maybe when I'm older I'll do every last bit of it, but I kind of doubt it. Let the machining boys do that. I'll do the driving and then do this part. After Victor! <laughs> Victor! <laughs> rock, rock. Okay, so we got the drift motion inlet on, oil pump, some ARP bolts and hardware, ARP studs. Now we're putting the oil pan. We prepped it. Oh, got that drift motion little Jay Z block off for the oil level sending area, stock stuff. And then this is the oil drain from the turbo, drift motion. Must have billet pieces. Wait, wait, wait. That one. More? Maybe the tiniest bit more. It likes to want to leak right there. Okay, I gotta go get a little bit dirty, guys, but we'll show you what's up in a second. Updates. Got most of the stuff on here. We're being very careful. Oil pan, pickup, everything's done. Now, we just put the dowels in the top of the deck on the block here. Then we're touching it up with some brake clean in case there got to be oil anywhere on that surface. Then, we're going to put a fresh set of ARP head studs and set the gasket on and go with the head. We will probably set the head on there Maybe if we're lucky, torque it and just set the cams back on. And then we'll be back over here tonight or whatever the case is to get to finish this up because we gotta work on some other stuff right now. All right, cams are out of the head. All the super tech valve train dialed, ready to go. Got the ARP studs in and we got the washers dropped down in here. So now, me and Vicha can set the head onto the block, and then we'll go through the torque sequence and torque it down and do our little like back and forth, starting in the center and then work your way out. We got to do like I do 33, 65, and the last one you do 100. So. We're gonna do that, torque it down, then we're gonna stop, work on other stuff, come back to this in the evening. But we made it pretty far and everything's really clean and looks good, we're happy with it, huh? Yep. Okay, let's put that head on. Maybe, maybe you guys can watch. Let's see if it works. Okay guys, that's it. Now, hey, now we're gonna put a little bit of, um, we always use this ARP fastener, assembly lube, yep, yep. Put a little bit of that on each guy, the nut that goes on, the 12 point nut, and then we'll start um, torquing him down. Probably not gonna share that part with you guys, gets pretty time consuming and boring. So we're gonna do that. Set, roughly set the cams, just that, that. nicely set them in there. Plastic bag it, go on with our day. We'll come back to it. Yeah. 